Good afternoon, students. This is an instructional video on how to hopefully set up your Fusion 360 account and install the program on your computer. Um, you will still need to log in each day into Fusion 360, but the material will be housed for you at that station. Now, this is an application that we're only doing on the Mac computers. So 10 of you should be able to do this at a time. Um, and then you will need for the remainder of the class, I believe that's four, assuming everybody's here and everybody can log in, we'll need to go through the application. So I will ask that you assist each other and be kind and helpful to one another. And hopefully you guys can be successful in this when I'm not here. So you're going to go down, let's see, my screen is not showing you the very bottom. I think that'll help now. So you're going to go down here to Safari and go ahead and launch Safari. You're going to go to Google and you're going to type in Fusion 360. And we are looking for the free version. And I'm going to recommend that you go to... <laughs> This one, we're looking for Fusion 360 free software for students and educators, Autodesk. Autodesk.com, products, students, teachers, educators. This is what we're looking for. And the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create an account. And when you're creating this account, your educational role, of course, is going to be student. Your region or territory is United States. And then it's going to ask for your date of birth. I think I actually already created an account as a student for myself. So I will actually create this for my one son, maybe. Let's see, how is this going to work out? So you're going to put your information in here. I may get kicked out of the system because it's going to recognize that I've used this email before, but let's see what happens. Uh, Aaron's at Martin at tus.k12.pa.us. I'm going to confirm that email by typing it in. Trying to type on this little keyboard is a bit of an adjustment. They're pretty, but tus.k12.pa.us. And this is a password that I'm picking. It has to be at least one number, one letter, characters, at least three unique characters. So that three unique characters is kind of interesting. Um, I'm not going to tell you what I'm typing in here. and create the account. Would you like it to save? Not now. And then I'm going to need to go to that email, and in that email I'm going to need to check some information. So I'm going to go ahead and... Now this is interesting because this is my school email. It's a lot easier to check on my other computer. Hmm. It's okay. I can do it on this computer. I'm just going to have to think. Let me pause you, and I'll figure it out, and I'll be right back. Right, so probably one of the first things you're going to want to do um, is to be able to pull up that email tab. So if you go over here where you see the top right hand corner of these double boxes, you can click here and that's going to allow you to go to another site. So I'm actually going to go to the Tuscarora School District page because that's where I need to check my email from. And now I'm actually, go oh, wait, right here maybe is my, oh no, that's if I want to email the school district. Don't need to do that. I'm going to pause it until I figure out where I need to click, and then I'll show you what my email looks like for what I'm going to respond to. All right, so I'm getting close to finally retrieving my email. A little bit of a learning curve of remembering how to get my actual web mail plus on a Mac. Um, but you would probably be just going to your Gmail. I would recommend that you use your school-issued Gmail account, and if you simply go to gmail.com you can put your credentials in and your email should pop up so hopefully when this uh, finishes updating my email will appear I'm gonna go ahead and pause it so you don't have to watch the uh, process of the computer thinking oh wait no maybe I'm not gonna have to pause it 
All right, so right here, Autodesk is where the email's coming from, and it's verify my account. So I'm gonna go click here, verify my email. Yes, this is all good, and I'm gonna hit done. So I've now started to create the account. The name of the educational institution that we are in, of course, is James Buchanan High School. And it is listed. And I would say that you are studying product design and manufacturing. You're going to be enrolled from August of 2019 to, we're going to say February, because it's the middle of January. We're going to say February of 2020 and say next. If you happen to have me next semester for materials and processing too, please go ahead and choose the full year. And we're going to hit continue. All right. At this point, I can get access to Fusion 360. You've attained access, you're good to go. You can download it here. And you just saw that little thing that kind of flew across my screen here. And when I click here, I can see that Fusion 360 Downloader. And I'm going to go ahead and double click. And I can see that it is currently downloading and doing work behind the scenes. So we're going to allow it to do that. And it says right click to install. Now, honestly, I haven't really figured out how the right click works on a Mac. I know that's my own learning curve. I, that's like on my list of things to Google today of what can I learn. Um, however, if you just kind of double click the mouse on the left hand side, it seems to work. So you can see that it is doing some things behind the scenes. Again, I apologize. This is Learning the Mac is a learning curve for me. Um, so I want to go ahead here and I want to open from the internet. So I'm going to say open. And now Autodesk Fusion 360 is opening and it's doing its setup. So you will need to do this just one time. And then when you come back to try to use Fusion 360 again, I think you'll have to put your credentials in. But the whole download is already taken care of. So my goal for you, the objective of class today, is for you to simply be able to download Fusion 360, create the Autodesk account, verify it with your email, and then to download the Fusion 360. So hopefully we can have pretty good success rate today and see how things go. And I plan on being back on Monday, and we will be ready to rock and roll. Hope you have a great weekend, and I believe I have some football players in class. So good luck at your game tonight.